This is Pat Iyer and Amy McCutcheon. We have just completed a podcast on some of the critical care liability issues and why the critical care environment is so high risk for the patients and also for the staff. Amy, what were some of the key points that we covered in your podcast? Well, we discussed the atmosphere in the ICU. Um, A lot of nurses are intimidated by the atmosphere, but we also talked about how laughter is really important medicine for the staff in the ICU. We talked about high-risk medications, um, liability issues with those types of medications. We talked about the camaraderie that when it goes away, in a, in a unit like that, how it can affect the care that a patient gets. We also touched on charting and some of the common liability problems with the charting and some of the things that we chart quite often in the intensive care unit. And we also discussed, I forget, what else did we discuss, Pat? I'm sorry. I think we ended up focusing on the challenges of working in the unit, the atmosphere, the environment, uh, the high intensity of technology in particular. And I know that our viewer has heard about alarm fatigue, which is a huge issue in a critical care unit. Yes, alarm fatigue is a big is a big one. We did talk about that. Just the the amount of alarms and the different sounds of all of the alarms that require your attention, um, but when you don't pay attention to them, and how that can go wrong, or turn them off. We don't want to hear that. Or turn them off. Just shut it off. Or have a family member turn them off. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Hadn't even thought about that. Yeah. Whoa, that could be a problem. Family members can do all kinds of things when you're not in the room. So that's, that's all another show. (laughs) (laughs) You know, one of the funniest things that happened to me once when I was exhibiting at an attorney trial lawyers conference is that I had a big stuffed bear and I put a cervical collar on the bear and I put the bear in a patient gown and I had a bottle of D5W and a a needle that was taped to the arm of the bear. Right. And I left this bear set up on my booth overnight. It was in a hotel in the Catskills in New York. And when I came in the next morning, the IV bag was dry. The bear's arm was dripping with saline. And I figured there must have been some curious person who came along and said, oh, I wonder what this roller clamp does. I wonder what this thing does. That was the end of my bear. My family yes. member interfered with my bear's IV technology, low tech as I, it was. I think that happens in all areas of nursing to some extent. <laughs> Luckily, it was just a stuffed bear. It wasn't anyone whose life was dependent upon what happens if you all of a sudden drop 500 cc's of D5W into somebody or with medications in right. it. Right, right, exactly. Lucky bear. Lucky bear. Although Mm -hmm. it was the end of the bear's life. Uh, The bear ended up going into the trash after that exhibit. You can't really dry out a saturated bear with saline that's soaked into the stuffing of the arm. You'll hear more stories from Amy and from our podcast when you tune in to listen to Amy McCutcheon's show. You can catch it on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified of new episodes. And you can also listen to it on all of our audio channels, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and more. Thanks so much.